I kind of got cut off in the last video, but as we're ending, we were looking at these middle resources in the middle of the page. Uh, and we'll go into more detail as we get into some of the more specific subject area ones, because there'll be certain ones that you want to look at uh, for certain subject areas. Um, but why don't we take a quick look? I know I said I'd look at it in the social studies video, but if we look at the primary resources page, uh, there's actually some excellent, excellent things on this one that we probably should take a look at. Um, but one of my favorites here is actually the one that's at the very top of the page, and it's American Memory. Uh, and it's presented by the Library of Congress. Um, but it provides a lot of primary source documents uh, that I know uh, we're looking more for in our social studies and language arts classes. Um, so this would be an excellent resource for that. Um, provides some information about Abraham Lincoln, uh, and we could find primary source documents. Uh, maybe we want to find some of Lincoln's letters, and we can actually see some of the actual writing that he did. Um, and so those are some excellent resources that we can find uh, within the primary source documents. Uh, I'm not going to take the time to go through all of these. Uh, it's kind of hit or miss. There's some that are very, very good doc very good resources, and then there's also some um, that the links need to be updated on. But the one that I found the most useful was this top link, which is kind of convenient, uh, entitled American Memory. Um, also provides, um, in the web resources section, it provides some different resources that will be helpful to teachers, and it looks like this has just been updated, as I know it used to have quite a few more uh, thing, uh, things on there, but um, some of them were out of, the links were broken and they were not no longer working. Um, but there's a couple other uh, cool things that we want to look at towards the bottom of this page. Um, and there's a Word Central Dictionary. Uh, this could be very good, especially in language arts classes. Uh, it's got the thesaurus function, but it's also got a rhyming dictionary. So if you're doing some kind of rhyming poetry, this could be a very helpful uh, resource as well. And then it's got another Spanish encyclopedia here. Um, it appears like it's a little bit different uh, from the other one that was um, previously, but it's still by Grohler. Uh, it looks like it's just a different format for the same thing. Uh, and then there's also a Spanish to English dictionary, which could be helpful. Um, it provides English to Spanish, Spanish to English, um, as well as some other basic dictionaries. So this, again, could be a helpful resource for some of our ESL students. And so that's basically an overview of the middle school zone. I hope that was helpful. Uh, and I also hope you'll check out the upcoming videos that I'm going to uh, make for the specific subject areas. All right. Thank you very much for listening.